What is up guys, John the Retro Bro here and today I am going to tell you guys or just show you guys how to scrape ROMs on the Retro Pi. Now I'm going to show you how to do it through Emulation Station. There are multiple different ways to do it. Um, this is probably the easiest way. Uh, it's certainly not the best as far as what kind of artwork you're going to get, what kind of information you're going to get, but I like it. Um, it's better than having just a list of games, which is what you're gonna have if you get it from me uh, but this is how it can look if you scrape the ROM so this is really cool after you've gone through the process for each game you'll have box art you'll have a year the date was released the type of game that it is you'll have the developer and you'll have a nice little um, just a explanation of the game here for each one uh, just tells you a little bit about the game, what you can expect, if there's a backstory, etc., etc. So, normally what you'll have is just a list of games. Now, I did go through and scrape a couple ROMs on this one. That's why you see it like this. Um, but usually this list of games will be in the center of the screen, and you'll just see the name of the game. So, the best thing to do is from here, uh, you want to be on the main screen here. You just want to hit Start. I'm sorry, you're going to hit start and you're gonna hit scraper go to scraper you're gonna scrape from uh, make sure your RetroPie is up to date and also make sure your uh, RetroPie is either <coughs> connected via Wi-Fi or Ethernet it's gotta be hooked up to the internet or this is not gonna work scrape ratings on actually I don't even know what that does to be honest with you I always just leave it on um, scrape now now you're gonna filter so <coughs> I always only do missing images uh, systems I'd prefer one system at a time just because it doesn't take as long and I like to go through and check each one when I'm finished here so we're gonna go ahead and scrape the master system so once we have the master system selected we're gonna go back now user decides conflicts if you wanna sit through it and watch everyone go by then you're gonna hit uh, on what that's going to do is if you have a ROM that's um, either double or there's a couple different types of images it will either auto assign one or not find one at all so I always go to off on user decides conflicts simply because I just like to let it go do its thing uh, maybe go watch TV for a few minutes you know just let it go through you can always go back and switch it or change it or update it when you're finished so once you have that, again, only missing images, if you're going to do it that way, <coughs> select your systems, decides conflicts, whether or not you want to select individual which one or not, and then hit start. And this is going to go through approximately 360 games here, and uh, we'll just kind of let it go through and do its thing, and then we'll be back as soon as that's finished. All right, so as you can see, we're at 352 of 360. Uh, this took around, looks like it took about 11 minutes to do 360 games. So I will go ahead and show you guys as soon as it's done. Now, while you're doing this, you might get a little temp indicator up in the right-hand corner. That is normal. Um, <coughs> so we have 43 games skipped. So like I said, that is normal. Um, it does tend to warm up a little bit, but if you do not have your Raspberry Pi overclocked, it should not be an issue. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And we'll go back and we'll go into the master system here. So we do have a few that are not scraped. Uh, what you can try and do sometimes is when you see that, highlight the game and hit select. And you can go ahead and uh, edit this game's metadata, and then you can scrape it directly. So we'll go to scrape from here, and this one just, um, what I'll have to do on this one, 64 color palette test, well that's not a game, so that's why it didn't scrape that one. But 44, it didn't skip, ALF, um, this simply might be because of the way it's named, so sometimes you can go into the file, uh, you can access it via your network and change the name, so I don't know why it's not finding that. But 44 skipped out of 360 is pretty good ratio. Now, like I said, um, 
doing it through emulation station this way is not the best so you will have ones that will skip <clears throat> and that's normal uh, there are other ways to do it more thorough ways you know this is just the easiest basic way to get some box art uh, to get a little information you know once I notice once I have the box art information on here I tend to look at that rather than the name <laughs> maybe a little nostalgia for me because growing up I always uh you know made my buying decision off of <laughs> off of the box art especially when it came to like Sega stuff so I loved me some Sega Genesis box art back in the day so and that is essentially just how you go ahead and do the scraping via emulation station uh, if you have any questions or comments comment below and thanks for watching